Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss magnetic anisotropy. This topic is included in NMR spectroscopy and magnetic anisotropy is actually the effect of pi electrons on chemical shift value of the NMR peaks or signals. We will consider an example of ethane, ethylene and acetylene in which we have pi electrons and what were what are the effect of these pi electrons and on the NMR signal. By considering this we know that the electronegativity of carbon atom is dependent on hybridization. So in case of sp hybridized molecules the carbon atom is more electronegative as compared to sp2 hybridized atom and sp2 hybridized carbon atom is more electronegative than sp3 hybridized atom. We know that it is because of the S character. In case of sp hybridization there is 50% S character and now it is going to decrease in sp2 where it is 33% and again it is going to decrease in sp3 where it becomes 25%. So if there is greater S character the electrons will be more towards the nucleus of the carbon and it will be more electronegative. So in this case if we look at the hybridization here we have ethane molecule in which carbon is sp3 hybridized and it is less electronegative than these carbon atoms in which it, there is ethylene molecule and it has sp2 hybridization and in case of acetylene the carbon atom is sp hybridized and this carbon is more electronegative and this is the reason that these protons are more de-shielded than these one and then these one. So it means that these, pro these protons are less shielded. So if we look at the NMR signals of ethane the delta value is 0 0.9 ppm while in case of ethylene it is 5.3 ppm but in acetylene it is 1.8 ppm. If we look at the sequence of these molecules the acetylene should be more de-shielded because of the electronegative carbon atom so it should be more de-shielded. So the value of this acetylene should be greater in delta value and the value of this 5.3 is more as compared to this acetylene. This is now we are going to discuss that what are the effects of pi electron on the magnetic field or what are the effect of these pi electron on the NMR signals. So the direction of the induced magnetic field of the pi electron affects the incoming magnetic field. So if we look at the direction of the external magnetic field which is in this direction and this acetylene molecule align themselves along the uh, external magnetic field the pi electrons of these acetylene molecule will revolve will revolve in this direction not all the molecules will be aligned like this but there may be some molecules which will align themselves and due to this alignment the revolution of these pi electron will be like this because of the left hand rule. If we look at the left hand rule, if my thumb is orienting the direction of the magnetic field, the revolution will be like this. So the pi electron will revolve in this direction. And when these pi electron revolve in this direction, there will be the induced magnetic field by these pi electrons which will the direction of this induced magnetic field will be downward and this is because of the right hand rule. If we look at the right hand rule like here the revolution of these pi electrons are like this then the induced magnetic field will be in this direction. So because of this clockwise direction of the electrons revolution of the electron the induced magnetic field will be downward and this BE represents the induced magnetic field because of these revolution of the pi electrons and it is in this direction which is opposite to the external magnetic field. 
and due to this external magnetic field the opposing direction of the induced magnetic field near the protons it will cause d shielding if uh, it will cause shielding effect so now the proton will be shielded more and the effect of this external magnetic field will be reduced because of this the signal will be more upfield because of the this shielding effect of the because of this shielding effect on these electron uh, these protons the signal will be upfield now we consider the example of ethylene in which we observed that there is d shielding in ethylene if you look at the external magnetic field in ethylene when external magnetic field is, is in this direction the when if there are some molecules which align themselves in this direction and we know that the pi electrons in case of ethylene are above and below the excess of the carbon atoms are the sigma bond electron electronic density is above and below the two nuclei where pi bond is formed so in both cases when the external effect of external magnetic field affect these pi electrons and cause them to revolve in this direction in clockwise direction and because of this clockwise direction the electron the induced magnetic field will be in this direction as we uh, told that uh, it is because of the right hand rule the induced magnetic field will be in opposite direction of this external magnetic field but if we look at the other end where there there are our protons if we look at the protons this magnetic field which is induced while closer to the proton they are towards the external magnetic field so the direction becomes opposite to this direction so near the these protons the direction of the induced magnetic field is is aligned or towards the external magnetic field which is in this direction and this this is external magnetic field and this is induced magnetic field and same is the case in other end where there are proton and near these protons the the induced magnetic field is is in this direction which is same as in the external magnetic field so both external magnetic field and induced magnetic field near protons are in same direction and due to this same direction they the effect will be d shielding so d shielding of these proton will occur and due to this the signal of this ethylene molecule is more towards the down field so there is more signal that is 5.3 ppm which is more towards the down field because of this d shielding effect similarly if we look at the d shielding effect in aromatic protons now consider if we have a benzene ring and in case of benzene ring similar as in case of ethylene the electronic clouds are above and below the this skeletal of the benzene which is are made up of carbon so the electron in effect of the external magnetic field in presence of this b not external magnetic field the electron will revolve in clockwise direction and due to this direction the induced magnetic field which is b e will be in opposite direction of this magnetic field but if we look at the protons near protons this magnetic field align themselves along the external magnetic field so the direction will be the direction of the induced magnetic field will be towards the external magnetic field near these protons so the effect of these proton will be d shielded so in this case also the external magnetic field and induced magnetic field near protons will are aligned themselves are in same direction and due to this same direction the protons will be d shielded and the effect will be more towards the down field as compared to the aliphatic protons where it is up field so these are the magnetic and isotropic effects 
in our next lecture we will study the spin spin splitting spin coupling or spin multiplicity so thanks for watching this video